Hi, my name is Sam Vess, and I'm joined today by my friend Cody. Hi. And today I'm going to be teaching him how to play Chaosmos. Ready to go, Cody? Let's do it. You are now entering Chaosmos. Prophecies foretell the death of the universe. Life as we know it is about to end. The only hope left is the ovoid, the seed of a new universe the size of an egg. It is said that whoever possesses the ovoid when the old universe dies and the chaos clock ticks down to zero will have the power to create the new universe in their image. You are an agent of an alien race on a mission to find the ovoid. But be warned, you are not alone. Agents from across the cosmos also seek to claim the ovoid for their own. If you are to be victorious, you must explore planets gathering weapons and equipment for the battles to come. Trust no one. One of the other agents may already possess the ovoid in their hand. They will lie through their teeth to keep it in their possession, just as you must do if you are to be victorious. Go now. Find the ovoid. The fate of the universe is in your hands. How does that sound? Awesome. How do we play it? The object of the game is to find the ovoid and hold it in your hand when the chaos clock reaches zero. So how do I get the ovoid? The ovoid is either hidden on a planet or is in another player's hand. During your turn, you explore planets. When you land on a planet, you gain control of its corresponding envelope. You get to take that and you control all the cards that are inside. Now you can only have seven cards in your hand, so you have to choose which to keep and which to leave behind. You can attack a player if you share the same space. During combat, each player rolls a set of dice and plays combat cards from their hand to increase their score. The player with the higher score gets to look at the opponent's hand and steal a card. So you can either find the ovoid on a planet or steal it from another player. So how do you protect it once you get it? Well, it's dangerous to keep the ovoid in your hand. So there are tactical cards like traps, vaults, and bases, which you can use to protect the ovoid when you leave it on a planet. Getting the ovoid isn't enough. You have to hold it in your hand at the exact moment that the chaos clock reaches zero and the universe explodes. <laughs> So have the ovoid by the time the chaos clock runs out. And there's one more thing. There's a temporal displacer that can fast forward the clock up to two rounds to end the game early. And in four to six player games, there's two ovoids and one of them is counterfeit. So Cody, do you have any other questions? Yes, how do I find which character suits me the most? Each character has unique special abilities. Right now, you are a Turnic the Brutal. He's an ugly guy. A Turnic gets to re-roll his dice during combat, perhaps to get a better score. Also, each character has a toxic planet. His toxic planet is Guriwan. Anytime a character is hiding on Guriwan, they're totally safe from a Turnic, unless he reveals his environment gear, in which case he can land on a planet and attack them. So a great strategy is to hide cards on the opposing player's toxic planets. Cool, so it's my turn. So how do I move about the planets? Each turn is represented by one click of the chaos clock. During your turn, you have three actions. The most common actions are movement. So that would be one, two, three. Then you would click the chaos clock one more towards the universe exploding. Another type of action is taking control of a planetary envelope. So let's say you land on Pendra here. Take Pendra, the corresponding envelope, and gain access to its cards and swap them out freely with your hand. You can attack a player if you share the same space. So let's say you're a Turnic, moving one onto Pendra and two to attack, which would initiate combat. So that's about it, Cody. You ready to play a game? Let's do it. All right, let's go. Go now, find the Ovoid. The fate of the universe is in your hand. 